so easy to go fast in this wheel. I, I look back and um, you know, Jason's Jason's way back there, and I'm, I look down and I'm doing you know upper thirties, and I'm just like, oh, didn't know it. <laughs> Big thanks to Jason at E Wheels for allowing me to test the ET Max demo. Yo, what's up, Duff here? Happy Sunday. Here at my house, getting ready to, to pull out on the ride. Uh, the car you see right here is Jason, my buddy Jason. He's gonna ride with me. He has his veteran patent here. He's out uh, testing my V8S. You know, he, he learned on the V10F, and uh, he's trying the V8S. Jason's just getting a feel for what the V13, the beastly V13 feels like. It is a beast. You know what, the Captain Morgan pose is actually easier than on the path to me. Oh yeah? Yeah, because I can literally rest my whole... Oh, because because you're on the seat, yeah, basically. Yeah, I'm sitting on Yeah, that's funny. Whereas the other one... Yeah, they kind of, they kind of, until so you put weight on them, they kind of pop up a little bit, yeah. Mm, Jason's up and rolling on the V13. Even though it is a mighty big wheel, it goes up past his knees. Yeah. I mean, that wheel is only 20 or 25 pounds less than you. It's almost as heavy as you are. Yeah. Yeah, I'm better turning left, too. All right, we now have the ET Max out. Jason's going to give that a shot. More, yeah, more than the V13. It's almost like it needs more preload or something. Yeah, it probably does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bottomed it out. I probably, I probably do need to put more preload on it. Maybe it's because it's sinking more on you. I don't know. There you go. I can feel the weight on this wheel more than the V13. Really? Interesting. It does. Well, that, that tire is a good tire for turning. That's probably what it is. The V13 is more stable. Yeah, it's a flatter profile tire on the V13. This tire's more responsive. Yeah, this one actually feels uh, surprisingly nimble to me. Okay, so we're gonna be riding the Greenway. I'm gonna be on the ET Max. I've ridden the Greenway with Jason a number of times, but never from my house. So we're gonna be navigating some roads to get to the Greenway, so it'll be a little bit different for him. Should be fun. All right, we are out on the road and rolling. Rolling towards the Greenway, which means we need to go through some of these uh, back connected neighborhoods that Jason's ever been on. So, be a new experience for him. So my plan is I, I want to get the ET Max down battery wise a little bit so I can throw it on the Roger charger. I've never had it on the Roger charger. See how the Roger charger does with the, the 168 volt ET Max and, um, and then have it fully ready to go for a range test tomorrow. That is that is my loose plan. So easy to go fast in this wheel. I look back and um, you know, Jason's Jason's way back there, and I'm, I look down and I'm doing you know upper thirties, and I'm just like, oh, didn't know it. <laughs> so easy to go fast in this wheel. Okay, so up here is a long straightaway. Let's see if anybody's on it. And if they're not, I should be able to accelerate without a big deal. Uh, there's someone here. Uh, bike, so I'll just get close to him and slow down. Uh, they're not going very fast. All right. Slowing down to a respectable speed. Okay, so um, we just went to the far end of the Greenway. We're, dub Greenway. We're doubling back. We'll go through Baker Park. And then I'm going to take him down to the beach via that, that tunnel. It goes under 41 and the cabana and all that kind of fun stuff. So that's my plan. All right, just stopped at the cabana. Uh, both myself and Jason got uh, into side conversations asking about the wheels. I have my face, uh, my windscreen down just because it's reflective and cool. I don't know that I will keep it down that long because I'll get warm. But for now, it's down. Yep, right over there. Just did a quick Miller light. We got their bike behind me. Going through the underpass with sneaker prints all over it and shoe prints. Just waiting for Jason. <laughs> yeah, he just had a couple dumps doing the 
the tight turns. What happens? I mean, he's, he's only been riding for a few months, so. I've been riding for uh, going on eight years, so. I do have the experience advantage, for sure. So I just looked down and uh, noticed I'm down to uh, two bars of battery. So I'm gonna make sure my speed is, uh, you know, more reasonable. And uh, we're just gonna probably go to the beach and then, then reverse direction, because, I mean, I don't wanna be going back on beeps or anything. That would kinda suck, so. That's the plan. We're at the uh, 8th Street Beach. Just hanging out here for a minute until we're gonna reverse. A beautiful day. I think it's in the uh, upper 70s. Water looks nice. Seems like there's a lot of people here enjoying it. So Jason's looking for redemption. He dropped his wheel a couple times coming through this, uh, this kind of tight, snaky area. So he's looking for some redemption. I think he might have hopped off. He's back on now. It's okay. Here we go, we got people we'll take up the whole dock. You can see us. Heads up. So Jason doesn't know it yet, but I'm gonna take him to Dunkin' Donuts as well. He's never been there. So he's just it's a day of firsts for Jason. And Dunkin' Donuts will be the next one. Alright, so we uh, this is the first time I've ever taken Jason to the uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Somehow we've we've uh, omitted this stop, but uh, here we are. Time for my afternoon coffee. Yeah, I'd rather not die before retirement for sure. Um, okay, so we just we just finished up. My, the um, ET Max is bouncing between one and two bars, so it's a good time for me to head back. I think I don't want to be beeping. We're only a few miles from the house, so I think we'll we'll be okay. One bar, one bar. All right, on the home stretch, trying to keep my speed more reasonable, just because I don't really know uh, when uh, low battery could become problematic here. So we don't want any problems. So I'm keeping my speed, you know, mid twenties. Just be safe. I'm only uh, like two miles from the house. Hey, uh, we're back, yeah. GoPro uh, just locked up again. Oh, big news, I have a GoPro 12 coming. Yeah, I bought another GoPro. Maybe the 12 will be the one that doesn't lock up all the time. We'll see. So do you want to ride any, since you have your gear on, do you want to try to ride any other wheels down further? Like if you go, if you go down here to the left, it goes into another cul-de-sac and it's just, it's, it's closed off. There's no traffic. It's a safe place to ride. I'm okay, man. All right. All right, so now we rest. Is there enough battery? Yeah. Yeah. Sure, I mean, man, yeah. Yeah. I might full send it. yeah. 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 Just tr full. try to keep it under 60, and I think you'll be okay. okay, okay. So Jason's going to take it down the, um, make a left here. It's a, it's a very small development I live in, but there's a, there's a cul de sac at the end. No traffic. It's closed off. So let him get a little bit more uh, speed up and see what happens. I told him there's not that many people in the United States that have ridden ET Maxes. So. He's, he's, uh, he's joined in a, a, uh, a small crew, at least so far. And you look real steady on it. Right, there he goes. There he goes. So um, uh, Jason's going back and, back and forth on the, uh, on the ET Max, and I got on my, you probably can't see it, but I have the D13 here, I was riding back and forth with him. I was behind him and he all of a sudden got a speed wobble on the ET Max. He wasn't going that fast, 20, 20 or something, but he, he had a speed wobble, he went off. He went off backwards, landed on his ass. Uh, ET Max rolled. Um, it seems like it's fine. Some scrapes on it and stuff, but it seems fine. The, the trolley handle flew out and it's, it's actually still okay, which I'm surprised by. Um, so yeah, and of course I wasn't filming. I wasn't filming. Everyone knows that crashes are the best thing to catch on film, right? As long as the person's not hurt. I, th I, think, it, I think it just hurts his confidence, that's it. I guess we got to give the uh, trolley test a, a crash test. I'm surprised it's okay, because it flew out of here. Let me see it. That's my worst crash by far, dude. Yeah, you were, I mean, you were going easily I'm 20 going plus. 30. Oh, you were going 30, you think? Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. A little scraped. Yeah, I mean, from-, from my helmet hit the ground. Well, I mean, you're, you went down ass first. I saw your ass hit. Because I was trying to, I was... Like, were you, bra were you breaking when it happened? No, when I was, it started wobbling, and I tried, I've had wobbles before, but I've always been able to get out of them. 
Oh, okay. Because I tried, I tried everything I do, like grab it tighter with my legs, speed up a little. Once it started. Well, maybe because of the weight, it was harder to control. I could not, I could not get re-control of it once it started wobbling. Yeah, it just looked like a speed wobble to me from from behind. It was a speed wobble. But but other but otherwise, I mean, you looked fine. I mean, you you looked very uh, stable on it. Yeah, you saw me doing all this stuff. Yeah, and just a couple mi minor scratches on it. Nothing, nothing terminal. That's good. Well, your your jeans are ripped. You ripped your jeans right in the ass too. And you scraped you scraped your windscreen, dude. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> How did you? Cause I, your face went down. Yeah. Oh really? Well, I'm glad you had the helmet on, then. Jesus. Well, it's good you got right back on it, though. What? So it's good you got right back on it, though. So this is this is just some minor scrapes in the front. It looks like looks like the wheel's fine otherwise. Hey, I was just uh, hanging out with um, Jason, talking to him. What's that? Well, it's not wrecked. It's not wrecked. So you don't see anything that would make you replace the helmet? No. No, no, no. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, it's, that's better than a, a blunt force injury. So anyways, yeah. He's, he's getting ready to head out. He has, he has some bad bruising on his back. Uh, his arm. His one arm is effed up. So, uh, yeah. The girl that what? Oh, that was, no, that wasn't Carabas. That was another, that was another uh, Italian restaurant. It's not a good thing. Usually it does not work out well. You'd be sticking to your seat on the way home. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, wow, it's almost six o'clock. Holy shit. But it could be uncomfortable sitting in a gaming chair, maybe. Elsa, do you want to go for a walk? Oh my God, we're still recording? Okay, hey. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Jason just left. He's banged up. His bruises on his back. His, his, uh, his, uh, his, his left, no, his, yeah, it's his left arm. His left arm scraped up and stuff. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna be hurting tomorrow. Um, yeah, look like a speed wobble. And I think maybe because the wheel's much heavier, I mean, it's, 20, it's at least 20 pounds heavier than his patent and it's much taller. So I think once the speed wobble started, he had a hard time controlling it and just got, got out of hand and uh, yeah, he fell on his ass and that was that. So I think we'll be okay, but uh, yeah, it was a little scary. And of course I didn't film it, so you know, whatever. So anyways, if you guys found this video interesting, I'm kind of rambling. Um, Please think about giving it a big thumbs up um, if this is your first time visiting the channel. Please consider subscribing. And if you're going to subscribe, you hit the notify bell, which is over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Um, I will be doing a video shortly of my first time charging the GT, uh, I'm sorry, the ET Max on uh, the Roger charger. I'm going, to, I'm going to charge it up with that because it is down to one bar of battery. And uh, big thanks to my channel members, channel members right over there. I uh, appreciate your support. Last time I checked, I have 23 channel members. They, they get to see this video earlier than you. If you're not a channel member, channel members have seen this video already. So yeah, just think about that. So that's all I have, guys. Hope you have a great weekend. Until next time, Duffman out. ET Max has some battle scars now. Everything still works. This looks like uh, just some, uh, some scrapage. A little bit of scrapage.